it is my melancholy duty to inform you, Great Britain has declared war. This is the ABC broadcasting through national, regional, and shortwave stations. This is a very happy crowd. The ABC presents the Sporting Roundup. The opening of the National Television Service, which of course is your television service. The Queen can't come to the people of Tennant Creek, so the people of Tennant Creek will go to the Queen. These Aboriginal stockmen are on strike. Harold Holt is believed to have drowned. I've spent the last four weeks in Vietnam. Here is our report. This is Mike Hayes for ABC News and the, the wreckage of was once a bloody good place to live. So these lands belong to this fury keeping. Here is a news flash from the ABC Newsroom. Well, may we say, God save the Queen. rescue operation got underway early today to try to save those people still trapped in the train. The Great Barrier Reef has been recognised as part of the natural heritage of Australia. I screamed at Dingo's got the baby. But I tell you what, for about ten minutes or so, we thought we were gone. Melbourne police are still at a loss to explain who bombed the city's police headquarters or why. These tanks have just provided an escort for about 30 troop trucks which have come into Tiananmen Square from the east of the city. The quake had its epicentre just five kilometres west of Newcastle. We took the children from their mothers. Tasmania's Port Arthur has become the scene of Australia's worst massacre. This is an event that has shaken the core of this country. A muffled phrase before dawn. Yes, I can hear you. Stuart Diver was pulled from the debris 65 hours after... It was the day New York's skyline and America changed forever. A huge bomb has ripped through two bars packed with foreign tourists. Well, Chappelle, did you first refuse to open your bag when first asked? I opened it myself. The end of a shift that lasted 14 days. For the pain, suffering and hurt, we say sorry. There were cars actually picked up like matchsticks. I will not be lectured about sexism and misogyny by this man. I will not. Family violence happens to everybody, no matter how nice your house is. 7,817,000. They voted yes for love. Entire communities have been absolutely traumatised. Mysterious illness sweeping across China. There's been a lot of confusion about the terms isolation and quarantine. Australian tennis star Dylan Alcott is celebrating the greatest achievement of his decorated career. Australia again has an Australian Open champion. South East Queensland and North East New South Wales are in the grips of a flooding emergency. Andrew Olley reporting for ABC National Television News. Tony Joyce reporting from the Chongwei Bridge. Liz Jackson, ABC News. In Tehran, this is Mark Colvin reporting for ABC National News.